Love from love, hope from hope, and peace from peace. Welcome to the exposure, uh, exposure of the tr- truth of revelation from Buddha, the prophet, who was just as much a Bible prophet uh, as any by what he prophesied of the Lord. For it came to pass that our dove of love foretold the Lord's coming 700 years before he finally came. For that eagle of the eons is unceasing like sands of time. And as he releases the following absolute truth, all followers absolutely will f- will come to know that it's absolutely gospel truth uh, as incredibility is now exploding all over the earth uh, by Buddha's awakening. For the prophecy is power ignited as an atom. Uh, it's like a supernova uh, and the resplendence and glory of love who is the Lord shall now cover the earth as waters cover the sea. For the this prophecy of Buddha is as vibrant as the deep blue seas and it's time to arise as a Jedi Knight with the truth that the force is now with all people who will send forth this truth of Buddha for it came about uh, written in a Cambodian temple that uh, Buddha Buddhists will not desecrate that uh, these following words are written. So let therefore every knee of every Buddhist now bow unto Jesus Christ Almighty, whom their prophet foretold so accurately. Uh, holy words from Buddha, their prophet of wisdom. Uh, thus saith the Lord, uh, Lord's dove of love unto all people of the world through Buddha, his prophet of the Orient, who had a, a greater uh, prophecy than even even Isaiah, who only prophesied by his stripes, we are here, uh, by his stripes we are healed. Uh, for he said, the Holy One is love for all people to in- embrace. And it came about that an old uh, priest asked Buddha uh, a question. Uh, he asked, how can anyone follow all commandments and escape their uh, sins? And so Buddha looked for a moment and he thought about it. Uh, and then he answered most uh, gravely, and he said, even if you gave your alms to the poor, even if you donated your gifts uh, to the monks, even if you kept all the commandments until sin 5, sin 8, sin 10, sin 227, even up to 99 million, uh, even if you lifted up your hands and worshipped and offered even yourself as a burnt offering, and even if you prayed five times a day, you could still not save yourself from your sins. You must have a savior. Uh, And if you did this every day, your deeds would still be worth no more than a strand, uh, a little uh, strand of a baby's hair that's still in its mother's womb. And he said such vain efforts would not even get you close, not even remotely to the gates of heaven. Your good deeds, no matter how much you do, is worth so very little. Sins cannot just be washed away and forgiven without any price, for the sins of humanity are many and heavy. Uh, It's far heavier than the sky and thicker than the earth. It's thicker than a large granite stone used for burial, one foot thick on every side. Imagine if an angel came down from heaven and gave that stone a sweep with a cloth once a year. The day, truly, truly, I tell you, the day that such a stone completely erodes away from that uh, motion against it is the day that man's sins would totally disappear. I myself, I have left all my princely inheritance. I have abandoned lust, and I have become a monk. Uh, My good deeds are not a few, for I hold to all commandments, even up to a hundred thousand. If I could do this and give away all I own for ten lives, uh, still I could never absolve myself uh, of the smallest sins. 
Right here, I'm going to uh, interject my words. Uh, he believed in reincarnation. I do not. But I believe the Bible. The Bible says concerning prophecy, it must be inspected most carefully, and all that is good must be embraced. This is good what I'm about to read, and every Christian needs to embrace this. Uh, when, when Buddha prophesied the... Uh, uh, reincarnation. He was sensing the agelessness of everything uh, because the truth is this world was made with very great age, just like Adam and Eve. They were created ancient. Uh, Adam and Eve had no belly buttons. They were created uh, without being born. And so realize that revelation is truth, and truth is power. And so it came to pass, by the spirit of love, Buddha continued, and he said, Let all of you do a good deed, and seek now uh, for a holy one who will come. Uh, 700 years later, this is exactly how much time. Uh, but he said, Look for the one that will come to save earth. And when he comes to restore our world in the near future, those of love will see scars in his hands and scars in his feet like the shape of a sharp cutting wheel. In his side there will be a stab wound and his forehead will be full of blemishes and scars. And that holy one shall be like a golden vessel that will carry you across the cycle of suffering unto paradise. So he pleaded uh, to other uh, students of his, do not pursue the old way, for you will certainly not escape when you die. You will never come back to this world again. And that gutted his theories of reincarnation because he was laying it down, exposing the mystery. So be, uh, be a, a, a loving person and please, I implore you, share these videos because we got World War III just getting ready to get uh, our world nuked again. And we need as much love spread around as possible. And if you will not share this video, then the Lord says, I will bring into your face a diary of shit, dung, crap pie down your throat like chocolate milk through your ears and through your eyes. And I will smite every arrogant and proud person not humbling themselves to his spirit of love to pass this video out. I, The Lord says, a curse will you bring upon yourself.